Who would win the fight between Batman and Superman? A question that's been in the comics for decades. But what if Batman had Superman's powers? All that training and fighting ability with that unstoppable power would make Batman, well, unstoppable. And that's just the problem in issue 53 of the Superman Batman comic series. A magical totem takes Superman's powers away and bestows them to Batman. And at first, things are great. Superman teaches Batman how to use his powers, and Batman is able to use those powers to beat criminals like never before. But that's the problem. What starts out well soon turns bad, as Batman becomes harsher and harsher with his beatdowns, in some cases practically beating criminals near to death for little to no reason. And he even beats up Catwoman and Dick Grayson when he really doesn't need to. And it becomes apparent that the transfer of powers has affected Batman's mind, and it's only getting worse. Eventually it gets so bad that the other members of the Justice League have to step in. But since this is Super Batman, they can't stop him. He's too powerful and too well trained. He knows all of their weaknesses and all of their limitations. But thankfully, Superman is able to get hold of the totem that took his powers away in the first place. And he then gets close enough to Batman that the totem drains Batman of his abilities and then gives them back to Superman. A similar story to this happened in Batman the Brave and the Bold. Well, I say similar, basically Batman has the same powers as Superman in the episode. He goes to an alien planet and is exposed to an element in the atmosphere called Rodon that gives him the same powers as Superman. With Rodon in the atmosphere, someone from Earth would have incredible power on Zeradar. Also a great weakness. It's kind of a parallel to the normal Superman story, as Batman is an alien from another world who gets godlike power because of the planet's conditions being different to his home planet, just like Superman and Earth's Yellow Sun. What's your story? Just a friend visiting from out of town, miss. Sadly, the bad guy is able to figure this out and comes up with a cure that stops the Rodon from affecting Batman and Batman loses his superpowers. Whoa. Weak as a kitten. It's actually quite a good episode, especially if you're a fan of the Timverse, as it takes heavily from Batman the Animated Series and Superman the Animated Series, going so far as to have the same voice actors in the show. He's incredible. Hit a stabilizer coil. Lucky shot. And another time the Batman has gained Superman's powers is when he accidentally triggers a trap left by an ancient sorcerer. The trap was left by the sorcerer for one of his enemies, but unfortunately he died before he could use it. So now, 800 years later, Batman sets the trap off. And this trap involves magic that convinces Batman that he'll die unless he fights a dragon. So Superman hits him with a ray that gives him superpowers for a day and makes his bat suit invulnerable thus allowing him to actually fight a dragon in one-on-one -on -one combat. So Superman flies into space and manages to find a dragon, and then brings it down for Batman to fight. With these new powers, he beats the dragon with relative ease. But after he defeats the dragon, the second part of the spell kicks in, and Batman must do what anyone asks of him for one hour. And this ends up with Batman being asked to fight City Hall. So he goes to the City Hall building and fights it in a boxing match, nearly knocking over the building. And then after this part of the programming is done, the third part kicks in where he has to fight the world's strongest man, which is of course Superman. But since Batman has Superman's powers, he is able to beat him. And thankfully that is the end of the spell he is under and he returns to his normal state of mind. And he just has to wait for the powers to fade away as they're only going to last for one day. Now the full extent of these powers is not really shown, but from what we see of the super strength, the flight, and the invulnerability, he pretty much seems to have Superman's powers. Although this actually makes no sense. After all, if Superman has a ray that can give anyone superpowers, why doesn't he use it more often for his non-powered superhero friends in the Justice League? But of course, this is the Silver Age comics, so logic doesn't really apply to them. They were a pretty nuts time in comic book history. And in JLL Foreign Bodies, Batman not only gets Superman's powers, but he gets his body as well. During a fight with Cobra, all of the Justice League's minds get switched around. And of course, Batman ends up in Superman's body, along with all his powers, of course. Now, being Batman, he is fine and immediately gets to grips with his new abilities. Though the rest of the Justice League don't do quite so well in their new bodies, at least at first. But after an initial adjustment period, they eventually get the hang of them. Wonder Woman is in Psychosis' body, who is a villain who actually switched their minds in the first place. And Psychosis is in The Flash's body. And The Flash is in Steel's body. And Steel is in Green Lantern's body. 
and Green Lantern is in Martian Manhunter's body, and Martian Manhunter is in Aquaman's body, and Aquaman is in Wonder Woman's body. Which does lead to a few jokes about him being in a body with uh, certain female appendages, but otherwise it seems to go pretty smoothly. And everyone else thinks that Superman is in Batman's body, but in fact he's in the body of Cobra, the villain of the story who has engineered all of this so that he ends up in Batman's body. And he's done this because he needs Batman's body to unlock the DNA locks on all of the Justice League tech, and he intends to use this tech to take over the world. Or at least take out the Justice League and then go from there. But Superman confronts him in Cobra's body, and Cobra thinks that Superman will be nothing without his powers, but he's wrong, and of course Superman beats him up in a fist fight. And then Cobra helps switch them all back to their normal bodies, as he is eager to get back in his own body, especially since he has a hidden teleportation device in his outfit that allows him to escape. And that is every time that Batman has gotten Superman's powers. Personally, I think the best one of these is Batman the Brave and the Bold, purely because it's the most entertaining to watch. Of course, the first one I mentioned in the comic books where he gets Superman's powers is actually rather entertaining as well, because it's just interesting to see what Batman would actually do in the DC Universe if he got Superman's powers. And as it turns out, he went a bit crazy with the power, tried to attack the Justice League, and pretty much just acted like a bit of a bad guy, even if he did have good intentions. But it made for a good story. But which one of these is your personal favourite? And are there any other times that you know of where Batman has gotten Superman's powers? Be sure to let us know in the comments, and as I say a quick thank you to those who made this video possible by donating to the Needle Mouse Productions page on Patreon. And as always, thanks for watching, and feel free to subscribe, share, like, and comment.